Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. We're playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Explores the Sky. In the last episode, we went on a couple of missions. I talked a little bit about Wonder Mail S, and uh, we kind of got trolled by a guy I haven't talked to in a little while. <laughs> we are not going to be going to Amp, uh, to Amp Plains anytime soon. So yeah, these missions are uh, suspended for a while. Until chapter 10, actually. Hey, you two! We need your help with something today. Dale, I brought him. Thank you, Shoop. You two are doing sentry duty today. Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It'd be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye. And that's that. Huh? I didn't follow that at all. Why are we involved in this? Shut your yap! No more belly aching! Go do your duty! <laughs> They're not get shoop angry is the lesson we have learned here. What are we supposed to do? Climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? Sentry duty. Sentry duty? Sentry duty! Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> and he just keeps going. We can't have suspicious characters going into the guild. So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What are you... Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Pikachu's! The footprint is Pikachu's! Wah! Oh, now I remember. There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grating, then someone shouted up at me. It was startling. Okay, you want us to climb down this hole, and then... The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post. Dale burrs through it and pops out underneath the sentry post. From the sentry post, he inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. Then I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not and open the gate if he passes muster. So we serve as the guild's gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. Look, all you two have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors, then tell me what Pokemon they are. Alright, understood? Good, then let's get to work! Buck up and do a good job! Ah, it's pitch black in here, Daniel. We'll have to feel our way. Well, he should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there! I see light, Daniel. How's it going? Are you taking position at the sentry post? Yes, we're in position. Good! Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint, then inform me. Got that? Yes, understood. Good! Let's get started! So yeah, it's a game of identify Pokemon by their footprint. We're going to be uh, using the touch screen for this. So, we're allowed to make two mistakes before we start losing points. Uh, let's see. The faster we do it, the more points we get.
So yeah. That's sentry duty. You'll be asked to do this minigame uh, on occasion. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Well, well, your results were completely perfect. You identified every visitor correctly. Excellent! We did it! We'll reward your effort. Generously, I might add. You all deserve an especially large reward. 500 Pokey. A Joy Seed. That's a free level up. A ginseng, that powers up your set move. We also got a life seed, that raises max HP. Um, I guess we'll throw away an apple. <laughs> Keep up the good work. So yeah, uh, this chapter is pretty light on plot. <laughs> Let's just uh, do some missions, why don't we? How have we used up all of our storage space already anyway? It's uh, kind of crazy. we're going to Drenched Bluff. Let's see if there are any outlaws in Drenched Bluff. Nope! <laughs> They're all in Mount Bristle. Go figure. What am I doing? You can hold up to eight missions, by the way. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sunny's pretty good at what she does. Or, not Sunny. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to calling her Sunny. Pretty sure that's what I would have named her in the fanfic. So, uh, yeah. Why not in Wobbuffet? They are... a duo. I guess we could call them Bud and Lou. I don't know. <laughs> It's Timmy and Tommy! Hey, guys! Aww. <laughs> oh, hey! These guys. Hey, you two! Are you from around here? And let me ask you, somewhere in this area, there should be a place called Zero Isle. Do you know of it? Zero Isle? No, should I? Hmm, so that's the case. Fine, be that way. We traveled all the way out here, but it turns out that this spot is pretty dingy, isn't it? We're Team AWD! We're a band of thieves led by Weavile. Traveled in search of the ultimate treasures brought us here. But this place doesn't appear to have be much of a prospect. So, uh, yeah. Treasure Hunters. A-W-D. I don't have names for these three yet. Alright. Let's see here. There are always a couple of things we can sell. You know. Even if they're, uh, not really all that great. Alright. Hmm. 
we can probably sell uh, these four orbs. Uh, we're holding on to these. Oh, powers up the topmost move. Guess uh, that's in preparation for another thing. Uh, let's see. We don't need quite this many max elixirs, that's uh, for sure. Plain seeds sell for one. There is a better use for them, but we do not have access to it just yet. That is what we will be doing. 287. Not really all that much. Whoops. Uh, no, I want to buy. Ain't no lie, baby. Ba ba ba. Ooh, violent seed. Yeah, but I think I'm going to take a silver gummy. Stick this in storage. Matter of fact, let's, uh, let's... To take out some cash and uh, get the other gummy that was there. The Violent Seed, what that does is it maxes out a Pokemon's attack and special attack. Uh, it's very useful against bosses, which is why I might actually go grab it. Let's see, I only need to take out 100 to have enough. Okay, we're good. Let's go do some missions. I hope I didn't miss something. Uh, let's see, others... Alright, no, we're fine. Just uh, freaking out over nothing here. <laughs> Given my uh, performance last episode, can you really blame me? <laughs> Heal seat. Nice to have, but not really necessary for much of anything. I mean, they could be good if you know uh, there are Pokemon on the floor that can poison you. Poison is really the only big status effect you need to worry about in most cases. Although, I guess if you're in a harder dungeon, sleep is something you should worry about, too.
These early game dungeons are always so full of stuff. It's kind of crazy. You can throw a cross-eye seed at a tough enemy to make it dizzy and behave strangely. Cross-eye seeds are yet another boss destroyer, and the best thing about them is nobody is immune to them. So, uh, yeah. Alright, that's one client taken care of. Onward! Whoops. Don't you just love fake items? Forces of chaos uh, are very capricious sometimes. We only uh, actually found two of our clients. Guess uh, that's something we're gonna have to do tomorrow. Boy, no. Whoop! I almost left the dungeon. <laughs> Alright, two out of three. That's nice. Max Elixir. Cool. Reviver Seed. Very much appreciated. Chapter 5, The First Official Exploration. Uh, good morning, Daniel. Alright, well, since uh, Chapter 5 has started, I think we are going to end things off here. And uh, do the whole chapter in another episode. So yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, join you next time when we get to go on our first official exploration. See you then. <laughs>